All right, so we're about to merge onto the highway. Nicely done. Wow. Okay, so now this is my first drive ever, guys. AI on the highway. Let's see how it does. Nice acceleration so far. Merging nicely. Cool. <laughs> People just saying that's giving me the thumbs up, nodding their heads, smiling. It's a typical Cybertruck thing. So first uh, impressions, minute or two, it definitely feels just like city streets. It feels very natural, very, uh, you know, human-like. And I knew the difference because I would drive highway and city with my plaid that still has the old C++ stack making the decisions. Fellow Tesla owner checking out the Cybertruck. And essentially, um, I could tell the difference we were on the highway where everything was so, like, robotic and it'd be like, left, right, left, right, left, left. But then now it's just, like, um, really... Uh, you know, it feels more human-like. Now, it is 70. I don't think I have that auto speed thing on, so I'm just gonna tap the accelerator and give it a boost to come up to 70. I'm gonna try to do that as much as I can with you guys. Um, so it is merging lanes. Kinda, it wasn't coming close to a car behind us, but that car kinda went around us now. So it's interesting to see how much farther we're going to go. We got, a little, we got another 10 minutes on the highway. So it's not bad. Bring up the kind of camera so you guys can see the decision making it's making on the highway. It was raining earlier, uh, so it kind of cleared up, thankfully, right before I started the video. So we got a little bit of sunlight left. And yes, for those of you wondering, that is the giant sword of a windshield wiper. Yeah, so um, coming up behind this other Tesla, just to kind of jump in here, it feels really smooth. Uh, lane change into faster uh, lane, I'm assuming. We didn't get that notification, but uh, let's see how much farther we got. We got five minutes until I believe we have to go into the actual next part of the highway that I routed us to. MGM Grand is just outside of downtown Detroit. So let's see how it's gonna handle. Apply light uh, steering force. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. OK. 
Okay, merging in between these two cars to get over, even though we're a mile away from where we need to be. So it's doing its thing really, really close around four cars, if you guys saw in the cameras. So it's interesting how it's getting over this early. So it's kind of braking as that car is braking because this guy doesn't know how to get off with his, whatever that is, Scion. I forgot what brand that was that died off years ago. So attention monitoring with sunglasses, which I do have on, seems to be working on Cybertruck as well. But it does play the on and off game, it seems like, just like in my plaid. All right, so we are about to make our first interstate change in the fork. It says 96 east towards Canada, but we're not obviously going to Canada. Nice turn, nice feeling, nice everything, actually. Cars coming from the left, if you can see on the screen here. It's holding its own, nice holding lane. Getting over nicely. Man, it's just so, like, it's so nice on the highway compared to, like, the C++ code on my Plaid. On my Plaid is like, I don't even want to drive it on the highway anymore. I'm going to drive it manually, which... We do other things on the highway with the plaid that I'm not gonna say on video. But, um, man, just nicely getting over. A little bit of a hard break there. Guy behind us was kinda like flashing his lights, but that's okay. It's just trying to get over. Um, I'm curious to see where it's going. That's interesting. I wonder if I wonder if it's actually navigating to the right place because now we're going 75 north, and I don't believe this is where. I mean, MGM Casino. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Can't go that way because that's Canada, or the bridge to Canada. Hopefully, it just doesn't stop us on the middle of the highway. We're about to find out because we are almost, uh, almost there, almost there. Let's see. Now, it looks like from the camera, we're really close to these cars, but there's so much more room. And I, when I first turned on FSD, just for a small drive when I got it the other night, like I was kind of like like shocked <laughs> how close it gets, but it's actually not that close. It's, it's similar to the other Teslas, where it's a good distance. It's just the way that the Cybertruck is designed, essentially, that's why it looks like that. Wow, that was like precision close. Did you guys see that? Holy crap, I thought it was gonna knock into that semi. Wow, that's that's the most impressive thing I've seen in a long time. Whoa, that was like next level AI. And I, I purposely brought down the front screen so you guys could, excuse me, the front camera so you can see that. Like that is impressive. Holy, but Jesus. All right, car's merging, but we need to turn merge on ourselves. So how's the car gonna handle it? There you go. See how close, we see how much more room we have and the car behind us has room. Like that's just so beautifully done. Like, man, how can you doubt Tesla, man? This is like next level, this is almost better than city streets. But I feel like we're gonna run into some fuckery on the city streets like we usually do. But man, dude, I could drive this all day long on the highway. I do city streets as well, but like, man. All right, so where did it go that I navigated to MGM Grand? Oh, I picked I picked the wrong freaking casino. <laughs> That's why. So technically the truck was correct. All right, so you can see this is kind of the, the outer part of uh, downtown. So I'm going to end the trip um, 
yeah, this is, uh, I was thinking of the wrong casino. Casino. 